All right, I've had it. And it's time for us to talk about this. So this is PC747 with the next up in Android and tech. So back in 2017, before I even started the next up, before I really got into really content creating, I decided to unbox the Nvidia Shield TV. And I thought it was a, a really cool idea because, well, I'm someone who kind of at the time had got away from gaming because I did want to focus more on just working some overtime and getting out of debt. And plus, for me, you know, I just really haven't got a chance to pick up gaming heavily since I got rid of my PlayStation 3. So for me, the NVIDIA Shield TV just worked out perfectly because it was a set-top box, which was the main thing I was using for, with the benefits of playing games. Now, after I unboxed it and really got a chance to play with it, you know, I was, you know, enjoyed it and there were a lot of things I enjoyed about it. But one of the things that frustrated me was just some of the games that I was really wanting to play was not available for me. Example was Madden that wasn't there or, you know, the latest Street Fighter V wasn't available. So I grew frustrated that I was not able to play it on the video show TV. And as a result, I kind of, you know, turned it down and kind of felt like, man, this thing is not really getting the games I want. The video wasn't really putting the games out that I had hoped they was doing. And at that point, I had pretty much boxed it up. And for basically two years, I've just swore that machine down. You know, every time I heard someone talk about the NVIDIA Shield TV this, the NVIDIA Shield TV that, I was quick to want to point out that, look, that's your opinion. I hear you, but I really did like my NVIDIA Shield TV. I actually decided to box it up because I didn't feel like it was really all that good. But here we are now with Google Stadia. Now, when Google Stadia came onto the scene, when they had talked about it last year, I was someone who was really excited about it. You know, I believe that Google could very well at least somewhat live up to the promise, and I couldn't wait to jump on board. You, you hear about the the crowd play and all of the possibilities that this could bring, and I knew from opening day it wasn't going to have anything, but I felt it would be very capable. So back when it was released on November Last year, I was one of the first ones to jump on board. And honestly, when I took it out of the box, I played it. I did not have any issues at all. I actually praised the thing. You know, as much as I saw a lot of people hating on it, I said, listen, I'm playing Destiny 2. I'm not having any issues. Everything's going good. I don't know why you guys are hating on the thing. It's actually had potential. I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I've been under the score for the Stadia, and I have been so excited about Stadia. You know, I actually gave one away. I would actually recommend it. People, you got to jump on that thing. Because at the time, I had really not much to complain about it. Yes, one of the things I did say that I really wanted, I wanted to, in the future for it to have games like the Madden and the Street Fighter Five, but I was willing to go ahead and give Google the benefit of the doubt that eventually they would soon get those titles so that it would be what well, worth investing into. But here we are now. And I say here we are now, but if I'm going to be fair, I started noticing this a couple of weeks ago. You know, when I stopped playing just the Destiny 2 and started playing other games, I noticed I kept getting this connection issue. It started with Tomb Raider. I had it there, and I thought, okay, maybe it was a glitch with the game. You know, and I went into the Stadio Discord. I asked a question about it. And basically, everyone that I talked to had the same, you know, uh, response that it may just be a little glitch with the game or issue. So don't worry about it. All right. So I didn't worry about it. And then I played another game. You know, I actually decided to try Ghost Recon. Same issue. I go playing and out of nowhere. It says your controller has lost connection. And then out of, after playing with it a little bit longer, you lose connection all together now keep in mind i am playing on a high speed connection with no issues at all with anything else i have nothing else that is playing on this thing and i'm losing connection again you know the second time i said all right maybe you know just a minor glitch and i started to kind of you know scratch my head but again i was willing to give it another chance so up until the day you know i also decided to say you know what Maybe I should give NVIDIA Shield TV another chance as well. So I took it out of the box. I decided to 
do a factory reset so I can clean it up, update everything. And that's where I've seen that you can add Steam on there. You can play some Steam games. And I'm like, man, you know, they really have stepped up with the Video Shield TV. You know, adding more features to it, more possibilities with the games. And as well, you know, the fact that you can also go ahead and play Steam games will offer you more library of content to, to play with. So I'm like, man, the Video Shield has really stepped up. And keep in mind, the Video Shield TV came out in 2017. It's still getting updated, still getting supported. And quite frankly, it's playing pretty well. In fact, here I am playing this racing game, and I've been playing with it a little bit. And just like before when I played on the Video Shield TV, I can go hours and hours and hours of playing. And at most I've ever had, when I would have played on my Nvidia Show TV, was every once in a while, I may get a slow connection, you know, and then it fixes itself and it's fine, you know. And when I did have that, that was because when I did, I was on Wi-Fi. But when I have it plugged in the Ethernet, for the most part, I rarely have an issue with it. I can play for hours and hours on end and not have some connection issue. Here I am playing Mortal Kombat 11 on the Google Stadia. And like four or five times through this thing, I keep getting a connection error and it disconnects me. I can't explain why, but I'm getting it. And this is like one of those things where, okay, maybe you got poor connection. No, I have fast enough connection that it can handle this game without a problem. Again, I just played my Nvidia Shield TV without any connection issues. But here I am playing my Stadia on Mortal Kombat 11. And several times it is disconnecting during a match because it's saying... You have connection issues. And this to me is kind of just frustrating. And it's one of the concerns that I think a lot of people pointed out, and I'm starting to see it, is this. We're at the infancy right now where there are not a lot of people on the thing. So this the service for Google is not being taxed. There's not a lot of people demanding or pulling from that server. And we're getting this. Imagine when you open the thing up to free and more people are on it and more people are trying to play. And you're getting this type of connection issues for more people. And this is right here is why I have to double back and say this. As much as I jumped on the bandwagon for Google Stadia and I was a cheerleader for it and, you know, I was sitting there and hyping it up. If I'm to step back and have a real objective take on this. It really do have some problems. Now, I believe it has potential. I still do. And I'm willing to, you know, stay on the discourse and talk with Google and whatever I can to try to help get this there. But to be honest with you, if someone was to come to me and tell me or ask me the question, what should I buy? Should I buy this, which is the Google Stadia, or should I look into and know the NVIDIA Shield TV? For someone who wrote off the NVIDIA Shield TV, I would have to point them to the NVIDIA Shield TV right now. Because I know since 2017, I've been able to play 4K gaming possibility, even though I use the 1080p option, with no issues. No issues. Yeah, here I am on my Google Stadia, and I'm having issues. And this is something that Google needs to fix. And if they can't get this fixed, who's going to want to continue investing in this? And this is going to be a question that I want to know if Google's going to be able to answer and they're going to be able to fix this. Or do they really care about fixing it? So for you out there right now who are on the fence, you're like, hey, man, should I jump on Stadia? I'm hearing the hype. Take it from me, your founder, someone who has been really hyped up with Google Stadia. I got to tell you, just slow down for a minute and wait. Let's see if Google can iron out all these bugs they have. If so, then maybe look into it. But for right now, I hate to admit it. It kind of feels like this is a product that's out there that's still not ready yet. And as much as they came out and started talking about how they have faster flops than Xbox and PlayStations and it can perform better than them. To be honest with you, when you look at this, it's kind of hard to say that they're actually performing better than them. Because, yeah, they may have better graphics, but if you can't play it because you keep lose a connection, then guess what? It's not worth it. And if you're someone who is not in the area to be able to demand that high-speed connection, man, you're not going to be able to enjoy it. And frankly, if you're not able to enjoy your gameplay, then why would you want to play?